It's a hit safari. You need some floor space? We're getting low. Maybe it's soft floor space. Carpet would be lovely. Otherwise, a little yoga mat. I'm going to do my best dealing with the hard rubber floor here. We're going to be on the hands and wrists quite a bit. So if planks, push-ups, those types of things bother your wrists, I invite you to choose one of the previous HIIT workouts that are available on the YouTube's quarantine workouts. You dig? Otherwise, try to stick with us today. I will give you a couple variations if your wrists are bugging you out a little bit. But just a little general philosophy on smashing the wrist down. As long as we keep this angle no deeper than 90, that's going to be painful. We're good. As long as we keep a lot of the pressure low in the heel of the hand, we're good. When we have the hand placed down like so, I want to grip with my fingers a little bit so I can have the pad of each fingertip collectively remove a little bit of the pressure off the wrist end of my hand. Those are all going to be good things. And you should move slowly, just like we land our jumps softly and quietly in here. That's how you should place your hands. I don't want you to hear any slaps from me. I expect you to do the same. A part of the safari today is to be unnoticed. Stealthy. So every time you contact the floor, let's do it quietly and gently. And if it's quiet, that's a direct indication of low impulse, which means we weren't so forceful on the wrists and the feet. So think quiet, smooth today. Get into the safari. Use your imagination. I obnoxiously have worn this hat and brought our friends here to really set the scene. So put yourself in that mode. Maybe throw on a little Tiger King afterwards. Make some animal noises. This would be a lovely one to send me a picture or a video of. I'm talking to you, Marcelo, Kiwi, Nassim. Give me some footage of your hit safari and I'll post that shit up on Instagram. People will love it. It's inspiring when we have a little bit of fun. Before we begin, I was recently gifted this morning these lovely homemade chocolate chunk cookies courtesy of Linda and David and Pally. So I will. Oh, look, this one's a heart. I don't even think that was intentional. I just chose the heart one. That's love, baby. That's love. Go ahead and eat one of these cookies to say thank you. A little pre-workout sugar. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you uh, eat something you enjoy later too. Have a little binge because after today's session, you're going to deserve it. I promise. No, I will not eat all of these. These are precious, okay? Oh, hell no. Jeff, what up? Welcome to the safari. I will absolutely not be eating this whole thing. They're far too precious. You know what happened last time I ate the whole thing? I threw it up. <laughs> those of you who didn't know, you didn't see the Instagram story. Yes, I lost those Oreos, by the way. I had nice uh, Oreo paste all over my hands, splashed. And when Nomad reopens and you go back to that restaurant by the office, know that it was graced by the Michelada Mega Stuff Oreo combination. Nasty. And you can sit there knowing what happened underneath you long ago during the quarantine. Get ready for Hit Safari. Bring your water nearby. You're going to need it. Oh, you should have some kind of towel or shirt. We're not going to pull on it. It doesn't need to be strong. It just needs to mark space on the floor. So really it can be anything that makes a line, a pair of pants, a towel. 
not your yoga mat. It needs to be narrower. It's going to do this. That will be its job, very simply. Not to be on it, but to serve as a little marker and a barrier to move around it. All right, so go get that thing. Make sure you have floor space. And a lot of you have said, I can't do jumps in my apartment because it's too loud and my neighbors blah, 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 blah. Well, today you're going to find out how stealthy you can be in the hit safari. Water nearby. Let's begin the warm-up. We need the hips, the knees, the ankles, the wrists, the shoulders, all nice and hashtag woke for this one. We're going to start here with the fingers and wrists. Big circles, fingers involved, and open up. Position one is crank the wrists back, open the fingers, stretch that skin between the webs. Position two is here, make a fist, crank the wrist down so we get the stretch on the top side, and then we'll make these big, exaggerated, dramatic circles in the path between those two positions. You choose the direction of circle. We will change that direction in a moment. But really get the muscles all warmed up. Don't just go through the motions. Flex and squeeze. Forcefully stretch the wrist extensors, the wrist and finger flexors. Move blood through the wrist, all the muscles around it. Prepare for a little bit of impact. Start breathing big, but not too loud. You don't want to wake the exotic animals. Now we'll flip the direction, other side. As we do each little circle, you should open up a little bit further. Increase the flexibility. Maybe start to feel a little fatigue like I'm feeling and all those forearm muscles. If we're really going for it, really creating the flex. Similar circles around the neck. We're gonna start ear to shoulder, down the front side, other ear to other shoulder. We're not gonna go back, only down the front side. Big old circles. One more. Good. Now shoulder blades rolling backward alone. We need to prepare the shoulder blades again for pressure down as we do a little bit of crawling today, a little bit of plank variations today. So I'm here, I'm pushing on my thighs. I'm rolling up and back and down and forward. Up, back, down, forward, and so on. And take your time. Pick your pace. Yeah. Today's hit will roughly be 20 minutes. Of course, we're warming up here. We'll cool down and get a little stretch afterwards. Um, but just once it gets going, once the heat gets started and we're deep in the safari, hang on with me knowing it's only about 20 minutes long. We will survive. I will survive. Now the other direction, roll forward. Make sure it's forceful. And just go through the motions, but flex. As far as you can in all the 360 degrees. Open up the shoulders. Really stretch out the serratus anterior to prepare for that planking pressure. If you've been with us for many of the push-up classes so far, you know whenever we're pressing to the front side of the body, we need to support the shoulder joints by 
retracting and shrugging a little bit. It's no different with the crawling. Good, work that out. Now we're going to fake fly with the shoulders up and back. Open up nice and wide, stretch the pecs, stretch a little serratus. You can see it through my baby gap shirt. Roll forward, open up, big fake fly, roll forward, shoulder blades rounded, maybe give yourself a hug there. That feels nice actually, a nice warm embrace this morning. It is chilly, big pec stretch. Lovely warm embrace, open up, the lovely embrace. Now, while we're doing this, I will say, I can imagine as YouTube has uh, provided a really wonderful service for all of us during this time of digital only connection, they're getting flooded with content. So as soon as this live is done, it's probably not going to appear on the playable video list for a while. So if you know anybody who you want to share it with, let me know and uh, I'll post the direct link to the live stream so they can have access before it shows up on the profile. In fact, I'll just do that on the at Nomad Active Instagram profile as soon as this is done. So go there, I'll have the swipe up link and you can share it. Little rotation, full cuffing, knuckles behind the blades or knuckles behind the love handles, roll the elbows forward. Open up and prepare to pitch. Roll forward, infraspinatus stretch. Open up, pitch, subscapularis stretch. Roll in and open. Roll in, open. So on and so forth, getting those shoulder blades prepared to hold our crawling. And if you just joined us, uh, I recommend some soft floor. So maybe you can uh, take a break right now during the warm-up. Go bring yourself on top of a rug or a carpet because it will feel better underneath your hands. Good. Shake that out. Awesome. We really need to move into the hips now and the knees and the ankles. Super important. I'm starting with happy baby. I'll be on my back like so. My legs are up. I'm going to bring my hands inside the knee line. And then ideally, I grab outside my shoe, the pinky side of the shoe. What a nice view you have here. I'm pulling and rowing with both arms, bowing the elbows out onto the inside edge of the knee. And I pull and stretch the hips. Maybe you get further than me, maybe not as far, whatever. Extend out, pull, open up. I'll change my view for your sake, for your enjoyment. Pull. And look at the elbows inside the knee line so that when I curl, I'm blowing out, creating that butterfly type of stretch. Get as low as you wish. We'll do reps in and out. Let each one get a little bit lower and really stretch the hip joints. Breathe. Good. While we're here, while we're on the floor, we're going to start warming up the knee joints. I'm going to put my hands right behind the knee, cupped right in the last little chunk of the hamstring group. I'm flexing my legs straight. Based on your flexibility, that might be occurring down here. That's okay. Wherever you need to go to flex your quads. And then look at the toes, they're also coming up. And then as I crunch and curl, I'm going to point the toes and smash my fingertips and do a leg curl. Hamstrings and calves are contracted. Tibialis anterior and quads are contracted. Calves and hamstring groups are contracted. And back and forth. And do it forcefully, just like all the stuff we've done with the at home workouts. If you're not forcefully contracting, with that explicit mental 
command to your muscles, it's not really going to happen for you. There's no equipment here to force that for us. We got to do it ourselves. And through that process, you're going to master your mind to body connection like never before. So take this special opportunity to try to develop those qualities and that, that sense. Couple more here. Good, now we're gonna keep them up. We do need the middle abs, the rectus abdominis to be on. So I'm gonna climb that fake rope, reach up, try to get my right fingertips on my left shoe, back down. My left fingertips on my right shoe. And here we go. I'm counting out 100, and that'll be it for the warm-up. Then we'll start doing some more complex stuff. What? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, twenty-three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hundred. Very good. The safari shall begin. First two moves, very simple, very, very simple. All we need is the floor space. We will be crawling. We're running in place during the high intensity interval. So we're gonna start with the run in place. Another one, we shouldn't be slamming the ground. We should be gracefully bouncing up and down. Okay. Try to make your neighbors not hate you. You can be there. You can be smaller. Or if you feel a little more confident with your silenced abilities, you can go higher knees. Uh, if you're on the carpet, that should help. If you got the yoga mat, it should help also. Uh, if you take your shoes off, actually that helps to be quiet quite a bit if you're barefoot or socked. That's the high intensity move. The low intensity move, or what we're gonna fill the gaps with, is simply a crawl. A bent knee, compact crawl. We're on the tips of the toes, like we said at the very beginning, we're on that specific part of the hand and wrist. And whatever space you have, maybe it's not a ton, we're just crawling around the space. I'll let you know when the time is almost up and it's time to lift and run away. But while we're Creeping in the bushes. I want the elbows fairly close to the knees. It's not this. All right, I'm here. And notice, I'm not letting my upper body get too far in front of the wrists. That hurts already. I want my hands a little bit in the front so we can keep that angle a little bit on the open side. We're avoiding that a little bit open. Here's the crawl. Wherever you want to go, you can go fast, slow, any direction, all right? Two moves, we're starting with the run in place. This is going to be a seven set game, seven minutes long. Seven times running in place, seven times crawling. I'll see you in seven minutes. We'll take a water break, talk about the next moves. 
shall we? Starting in 10. With a run in place. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh. seconds. In three, two, one. Now we're running. Regulate the breath. I already feel my heart rate getting jacked up. Those crawls are serious. Five, four, three, two. Sucking should begin right about now. So just make it through that barrier of discomfort. And we're going to get through the whole thing. And then tomorrow we can do some fun push up stuff. In three, two, one, go. Quiet, but fast. I'm burning the fat now, so I can eat that whole thing of cookies later. But you gotta keep working, and you gotta choose speed. Go, go. Stay low, stay quiet. Five, four, three, two, here we go. Remember, if the crawl's getting nasty for you, you always have the option to plank or forearm plank and just chill if your wrists are unhappy with the crawling. It's not easy. In five, four, there's a halfway mark. Two, one, crawl. Back in the bush.
Stay low, stay compact, and stealthy. And run. There we go. We're stalking the prey. Coming in for the kill. And the prey is your adipose tissue. We're getting rid of those fats. Burning those calories. Woo. Sweating. There it is. It's a real safari now. Run. Go. Uh, Sweat. Get him. And crawl. Keep moving, five seconds. Includes section one of the safari. Wowzer. Hopefully, you're breathing like I am. That's damn serious. Okay, okay, okay. Hit me in the comments, please. Let me know. I'm not the only one suffering. Part of HIT is getting the heart rate down between bouts of work. So right now, see how calm you can make yourself. We just ran away from the tigers. <laughs> so you gotta calm down your breathing. They can hear your heart rate. Slow that shit down. You like the bird sounds? Me too. I tried to get real thematic with the HIT timer. Anybody not feeling the crawls? I mean, I'm not feeling them. I'd rather not do them. But I don't have any serious acute pain in my joints, so let me know how you feel about these crawls. I can make modifications for you. I'm happy to do so. We will do it again. Now we need that barrier on the ground. And we're gonna place it in the center of my own workspace. Make it nice and narrow. Maybe roll it up like so. Right down the center. Okay. Uh, so if, if one side of your foot or another isn't like in the crawl, a couple things to think about. We should not be here. We should be there. So make sure you're not uh, ballerina toe pointing this, but you're allowing some flexion of the foot. The other thing is, if you bow your knees out a little bit while you crawl, we can get the pinky side of the foot, the pinky toes, 
to bear most of the weight. Let me try to show you the difference. Here, here my big toe feels it. There, my baby toe feels it. Or bowing out the knees like that. All right. Try to work on that. You can also go flat-footed. Do like a bear crawl style. So try those options. Of course, with that one, the knees aren't going to be nearly as bent. They're almost going to be straight. Make some modifications. And when we go back into the crawl, you can always just plank uh, or do that tabletop crunch, but from the crawl. So you can do this. I'm here in the crawl. I'm reaching out with the leg and the arm. Cross body. And alternate. That's actually pretty challenging. So try those on for size. All right, next two moves. This is where we really test our stealth ability. The high intensity move is a jump over this barrier to the other side. I'm low. In between each rep, I need you to touch your fingers to the floor, your hands to the floor. Don't smash your fingertips, of course. Be gentle. I am a little bit off the heels here. I'm in that crouch. I'm not in a full squat. Whatever you want to do, though, is good with me. I'm here. When I'm ready, I'm going to jump and land on the other side of the barrier. The primary goal is the quietest landing possible. We're in the safari. We don't want to alert our prey. You dig? Those are our jumps. Now, the work in between, we're going to plank over the barrier. So we finish our jumps. We're going to hear that tweet, 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 tweet. 30 seconds is over. I'm here. Like so. Planking over that barrier. You can see I'm just in a regular plank. Um, in future rounds, I will prime us to perhaps lose an arm. Lose the other arm. Maybe lose a leg. Maybe awkward airplane. All right, so I'll give you those challenges as we go. The first two, however, will just be planking. Jumping with the quiet landings and planking over the barrier. Your pace. We ready? This is another seven minute ditty, seven rounds of jumping. We ready? Time to get that heart rate back up. And silently. Starting at 10, 9, 8, 7 with the jumps. Six, five, four, three, two. Go. Of course, with the jumps, you don't fancy. Just give me squats, regular squats. Oh, legs. Three, two, one. Play. This one's going to be terrible. Those jumps killed me. My legs are still sore from number 23. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, let's jump. Go. High jumps. Quiet landings. And the landing quiet is just as muscular as the takeoffs. Those airbags. Are exhausting. Five seconds. And blank. Let's raise an arm.
And the other arm. And both hands. Five seconds till the jump. Go, jumps. Find a way. Stay in the game. Five seconds. Three, two, plank. Let's raise a leg. And the other leg. Both legs. Don't raise both legs. <laughs> Three, two, let's jump. Go. Stealthy. Bottoms of my feet. Whoa. Keep it moving. We got a job to do. We got goals here. Five, four, three, two, jump. Ten seconds. Three, two, plank. Uh, raise an arm. You can do it. We're almost done there. Raise the other arm. Stick with me. It should be miserable. Uh, both hands, eight seconds left, and we jump again. Upcoming is round six out of seven. Go. Round six. Big jumps. Silent landings. Figure it out. Oh, dig deep. And plank. Breathe. Regulate. One set of jumps left, and it's the last jumping thing we'll do in today's workout. Five, four, go. Last jumps today. Not the end of the workout, but the end of the foot jumping. Ten seconds. Keep moving. Do your stuff. Earn those cookies. Ha, ha. Three, two, last plank. Let me rest. Give me 30 seconds in the plank. Raise the leg. Should be sweating. 
Raise the other leg. Both feet down, 10 seconds. Relax. Activity completed. There it is, gleaming. Anybody with me? Wow, those jumps are wrecking me. I'm tasting the sweat, extra salty. Can I get an amen, please? Come at me. Let me know I'm not dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> Get serious. Mm -hmm. Quads for sure. And for me, the quads weren't fully feeling recovered since 23. You're with me, people. You're with me. Final seven minute stretch. There will be no tricks after. <laughs> No tricks, no holds, no like, oops, I changed my mind. <sighs> Damn lags. Well, luckily I'm super long-winded and I take these pauses between my phrasing. So you have plenty of time for that lag to catch up on your comments. <sighs> Seven minutes to freedom. Once I start the timer. This one's simple, but it should be brutal. We're again into a crawling type of situation. So please be careful here. Not seeing ball the toes or ball the knees out so you get the pinky toe or go flat footed. Either one's okay with me. Of course, if you don't want to crawl, you're going to go to that uh, plank where you're reaching out the reps, that tabletop crunch. I'll show you one more time. Either from the knees or from the crawl. Whoa. Either one's good for me. Okay, we need that barrier still. The two moves. The rest or the low intensity is very simple. We're at the bottom of our squat, ready to pounce. This time we are flat footed. Don't do this one. Heels are down. Look at how rounded my back is. Because I have no weight in front of me, I'm not reaching out with a front squat or any of that conventional stuff, I need to counterweight forward to allow my uh, feet to get flat. Some of you with greater flexibility, different relative body types and shapes. You might be able to be super upright like this with the flat feet, but I prefer rounding forward, use the weight of my skull and my torso, keep the counterweight so I can get my butt way back, and I can get the heels on the ground, get my feet flat. Maybe you got your hands here, maybe you're staggered, whatever works, but we're holding at the bottom of the squat during the rest interval. During the work, we're in a crawl position, the same one, the bent knee crawl. We're on one side of that barrier. And we're quickly going to move to the other side. However you want to get it done. You can do a little mini hop. You can walk it. You can do the pop-ups. Eh, let's skip the pop-ups. I wouldn't recommend it. At this point, we're fatigued, easy on the wrist. So here's what I'm gonna do. Jump my feet, warm my hands over, like so. Or you can do one of each. An arm, the feet, the other arm. The arm, the feet, that's actually quite nice. So when we do our jump work, we're here. The point is, you just switch sides. You're gonna find a million different techniques. 
Here we go. Starting with the switches. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go. Stay low. Stay quiet. And easy on the wrists. 10 seconds. And relax. Or in the squat. Make sure you're on your heels. It's going to help you give the quads a break and the feet a break. Wow. Ten seconds, we go again. That's a lot of quad work. In five, four, three, two, go. I already feel my butt coming to the sky. I gotta keep myself low. Stay low. to be a very quad dominant experience. All these crawl positions, all these upright jumps, soft landings, a lot of muscle work. In three, two, go. Oh, I don't know about it guys. I'm starting to break down, but the end is near. So we might as well push it. 15 seconds. Take care of those wrists. In five, four, three, two, squat. My hat is covered in tick repellent, and it smells delicious. Got to jump into a work meeting. Okay, see you, Marcelo. Later, bro. In three, two, go. Stay low and compact. Keep the knees close to the ground. Butt lower than mine, ideally. Four, three, two, squat. Oh, huh. 
Two more rounds. We got this. Hang in there with me. 10. And five, four, three, two, one. Squat. One left. There's one left. Hang in there. Oh my goodness. This is it, y'all. The end of the safari. Five, four, three, two. And squat. 30 seconds to squat. And we're done. Includes our safari. Oh. I don't have much to say. That was ridiculous. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Have an amazing day. Eat some cookies or whatever else you like. Thanks for sticking with me. And, uh, I'm now going to go cry in the corner. I'll retreat back to the bushes. See you tomorrow. Later, y'all.